Hello, readers and deep thinkers. Welcome back to Miss Pat's Reading Corner. I am so happy you're here with me today. And guess what, friends? It is officially pumpkin season. Now, fall doesn't technically start until September 21st, but it is definitely time to start thinking about all things pumpkin. And so for today's story, we are going to read Pick a Pumpkin by Patricia Tote, illustrated by Jarvis. Are you curious about Pick a Pumpkin? Well, I am. Let's get into it. Pick a pumpkin from a patch. Tall and lean or short and fat. Vivid orange, ghostly white, or speckled green might be just right. Pumpkin snugly in your arms, wheel a wagon through the farm. Stop for mugs or of spicy punch, toffee apples sweet to crunch. Mmm, what a beautiful fall day. Homework from the pumpkin patch. All your goodies stacked in back. Now, brush or wipe your pumpkin clean, rub it smooth and make it gleam. Find the perfect carving space lined with papers just in case you make a mess. Next, Gather other things you need, a bowl, a spoon for scooping seeds, a tool to trace a spooky face, a plastic saw for cutting shapes. Then, invite around a friend or two. Form a pumpkin carving crew. Have you ever been part of a pumpkin carving crew? Oh, look, even the baby wants to participate. Let grown-ups cut the top a bit. Big enough for hands to fit. Reach down deep into the hole. Grab the seeds and give a pull. Lumpy chunks, sticky strings, clumpy seeds, guts and things. With a spoon, scrape sides neatly. Clean the inside out completely. Now, all together. Carve the eyes, giant circles of surprise. Small slit sleeping or one eye peeping, cross-eyed crazy, angry lazy, and below those, make a nose, a triangle, a pinprick, a nose that grows from thin to thick. Under the nose is where the mouth goes, a kiss, a frown, a toothy grin, a zigzag gap, cut long and thin, a smirk, a snarl, an eerie O, oh, or pointy things all in a row. But wait! Before you light your new creation, first it's time for decorations. Cobwebs strung from post to post, rings of gauzy dancing ghosts, spiders, tombstones, dangling bats, skeletons, and witches' hats. Now quick, slip on gear to trick or treat or grab a sack to hold your sweets. Time to go, friends. Lift your pumpkin up with pride. March it to a place outside. Set it safely on the ground and call the crew to gather round. Ask someone to strike a match. Watch! The candle's wick will catch. See it glow outside your door. Look, it's not a pumpkin anymore. It's a jack-o'-lantern. Its red hot eyes will gaze and flicker. Its fiery grin will blaze and snicker to guard your house while you have fun. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Happy Halloween, everyone. Look at that wonderful scene. Wow, and there's so many pumpkins on the street. The 
end. All right, friends. Now, wasn't that an excellent story? Friends, if you're going trick-or-treating, if you celebrate Halloween, because not all people do, but if you do, I wish you the happiest Halloweens. I hope you get so much candy and so many goodies. Remember, friends, be curious about the world around you. Ask lots of questions and read, read, read. Until next time, happy Halloween!